Hello all my otaku friends, my name is Prof Otaku and welcome back to my channel. This is my manga reading log for the month of November and we're just going to get right into it. Let's not waste any time at all. I started the month by reading Undead Unlock Volume 3 and Volume 4. You know, this is just such a tricky series to talk about. You know, the art is fantastic. I love the action. I love the world. But the execution of this manga is just, I just don't know. You know, we've got such great care. We got Fuka, which I think is a really great character. I could care less about Andy. I just feel like they're missing stuff. The pacing is just way too fast. And yeah, I just wish that this would just be shelled out a bit more. So yeah, that's Undead Unlock. I'm going to give it one more volume and see if I need to drop this manga. Next up is a new rom-com series. Higa Hero, after being rejected, I shaved and took an a high school runaway. <laughs> That's a long ass title. <laughs> but this is exactly kind of how you think it is. It's just this girl who gets, who's just abandoned on the side of the road. And then this older gentleman takes him in. Oh, there's some fan service. <laughs> but, but it's just, I, this is okay too. It, you know, it's, it's a really weird vibe between the main girl and then the older guy. It's it, honestly, it's getting to the point where it's kind of like pervy. So it's just really kind of gross. We barely get anything with this girl. They add all these side characters uh, near the end of the volume that I could honestly care less about. I want to know more about her and they just, they just don't dive into it. So yeah, you pick this up if you're intrigued, but it wasn't my favorite. I'm going to give it one more volume. Next up is GTO The Early Years. So this is Omnibus 1, Omnibus 2, and Omnibus 3. So this encompasses several arcs, but Omnibus 3 finishes like the first big, big arc of GTO the early years. I love this manga. Really, really funny. It's I, it's not as good as GTO, the original series, or like, I guess the sequel series to this, but the art is great. The characters are funny. It's kind of like a beat em up, just gangsters just fighting each other. So it's a little bit more, uh, I would say streamlined than the other series. There's just not as much diversity especially in this first omnibus it definitely gets more diverse as we keep going on with the stories at the other two omnibuses so yeah i've been really enjoying this i'm going to take a little bit of a break i just want to i want to cherish this series so i want to take it little chunks at a time Next up is Dr. Stone, volume 19. I mean, what is there to say about Dr. Stone? I mean, this finishes an arc and it's just absolutely incredible. The artwork is great. The arcs keep getting better and better. This is almost done too, which is like heartbreaking. But yeah, this is just one of my favorite Shonen Jump series currently going on. Next up is Black Clover 27. So this is basically a setup volume after the big battle scenes that happened in the volume before and there's some great history on the black bulls and the different characters that are being introduced into the story which is a lot of fun um you know it's interesting actually the artwork i thought took a little bit of a dive the backgrounds were very like non-detailed there's a lot of white i don't know what's going on and so i know that there's been a new editor in place uh, is that a reason why this is starting to take a downturn with the art? I don't know. We'll have to see. Next up is the manga I do not have in my collection anymore. Arakawa Under the Bridge, Volume 7. I, I read Volume 7 and that's it. I think I've gotten enough of Arakawa Under the Bridge. I, I think it's funny, but it's like very like smart humor. And I'm very much into dumb humor comedy like Grand Blue Dreaming or like GTO. So like that's just... I mean, it's just a little bit too sophisticated for me personally, so I just have to pass on it. I enjoyed the ride, but I just don't need to read any more of it. Next up is A Big Boy, Shaman King, Volumes 7, 8, and 9. I really enjoyed this. I like where the progression is going in the story in regards to the tournament and the nitty gritty of it. What I don't like is the execution of the side arcs with some of the side characters. I just think that the conclusions to the arcs are really weak, and that's happened throughout this series and so that's why I think it's just not as popular as or it's overhyped basically but yeah I am enjoying it I'm enjoying it a lot more than I did back in the past so yeah definitely pick this up I think it's on sale right now on the right stuff uh, winter sale 
Next up is another mess series that I dropped. Zom 100 Volume 4. I sold it and I kicked it out of the collection. I, you know, it just, it didn't blow me away. It was just as mediocre as the third volume. I just think that this is just going to be a really monotonous, boring manga. I don't find the comedy that funny. I like the artwork. I like the premise. It's just not my favorite thing in the world. And I'm not going to spend that kind of money on volumes that are like literally this thin. Next up is a series I'm super excited that I read. <laughs> Azamanga Dayo. This is the complete collection. These are actually all the, the singles, which is fun. They have a Yen Press Omnibus. But this is one, two, three and four. And for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a slice of life for Coma about these girls. There are six of them. There's only five on this cover, but it's basically about them in high school. It's really funny. It's really funny. It's super relatable. And it's just really cute to see all their interactions and all the different characters. You know, the artwork itself, like I actually got confused with some of the characters. Like I mixed them up. Uh, but like like these two, I just never can tell who's who. <laughs> but the rest of them are very distinct. I have very cool personalities. I really, really enjoyed this read. It was a solid 9 out of 10. It kept me laughing the whole time. Cannot read to wait to read the next work of this mangaka, which is Yotsuba. All right, let's keep going here. Next up is Freren Beyond Journey's End Volume 1. This is a new release on the Shonen Sunday label by Viz Media. I did a full review on this if you want to check it out on my channel. But this is absolutely beautiful. I love the artwork. The story is very unique, very different. It's a slice of life taking place after the end of this big magical fantasy journey. It's about her growing through her connections with her friends. So it's a very heartwarming tale. Highly, highly recommend. Next up is ID Invaded Volume 3. This is a three volume series. It wraps everything up. Uh, and I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I picked these up as they released. So I read one volume at a time. I just, I just can't remember. I need to go back and read the whole thing in one go. But I mean, just knowing, just reading through the whole thing already, I can tell you right now, this is just as confusing as the main original anime series. <laughs> You're going to have to put your thinking caps on for this one. But I do like the artwork. I love the premise of it it's just so unique so different it's like makes it there's a reason why this is one of my favorite animes that i've watched very recently so yeah i very much enjoyed this if you like the id invaded universe i highly recommend you pick this one up next up is a super surprise the masterful cat is depressed again today volume one it's about this cat who is an orphan and then she takes him in and then he basically sees how pathetic she is in her like daily life. So he like grows up, cooks for her, cleans for her, does like basically all this stuff for her. And it's really, really funny. This is a four coma as well, but the artwork is fantastic. I love cats. So this is just super funny. Like this is one of my favorite panels where he's like bowing to the old lady, <laughs> but it's just really, really funny. If you are a cat person at all, or if you just want want something that's just going to make you laugh, this is the manga to get. Next up is the main crutch of my reading for the month. This is Boku Rona Hours, volumes 1 to 11, complete. Volume 3 is digital. I bought it on the Viz app because obviously it's a unicorn and it's not. I'm never going to find it. But I'm super glad that I have at least the physicals for this. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit in depth about this. So if you want to skip over this and see the, the other three volumes that I have, uh, I'll put a little timestamp. This series is interesting. I put it like a valley. You have the beginning and it's just this huge mountain and you're like, wow, this is such a cool premise, really interesting, super dark, super creepy. And then it's, then the valley goes down and then, so it dips. You've got forgettable, you got forgettable characters, forgettable storylines, and a very minimal progression to the story. And then the last four volumes really pick up and it wraps everything up super well. And there's great world building and basically all the, the plot points connect together. <laughs> and so it's really a fun ride if you can get through the middle. Some of the, the, the cons I have of it are the artwork. It's just sometimes it's just plain, especially with the facial features. It's just all the characters just look like meh. Lots of white, not a lot of, you know, not a lot of stuff going on here. But that is to say that this is a really beautiful tale talking about life and cherishing life 
And what are you going to do knowing that you're, you know, that things are going to happen to you? This is very similar to Ikigami. If you like Ikigami, I put this Ikigami with Mecca. That's exactly what I think this is. And so you, you take it for what it is. Now, another thing I do want to point out, why is volume three so hard to find? Volumes two and three dive into some child abuse and just child stuff, child prostitution, and it's very graphic, very graphic to the point where I was like, wow, this is, um, I know why they didn't reprint this because it's just, it's, it's too much for American audiences. I mean, I, I'm usually like not about censorship, but this was too much. It was just straight up like naked and it was it was too much so yeah there is that so if you want to get into the series just know that that hits you and it hits you hard but yeah it was a great series i enjoyed reading it a lot and i'm glad to have it in the collection last but not least we've got three more volumes here toilet bound hanaka kun volume 11 this cover is absolutely fire i mean it looks so so cool with the white yeah this is a great series i mean everybody is talking about this right now the artwork is great we're still on the same arc after this volume this was like a lore volume talking about the lore of some of the characters which i did like i just kind of wish it kept moving because it left on a cliffhanger in volume 10 and then this did nothing to keep it moving forward so uh, you know that was a pet peeve of mine but the artwork is great i really really love just what this series is doing so get on the hype train it's definitely not overhyped Next up is Sweat and Soap Volume 10. This wrapped up the conflict that was presented in the previous volume. And this goes into the last kind of arc, which is really heartwarming, beautiful. I can't wait to see how this series wraps up in Volume 11. Is it going to be a 10 out of 10 for me? I thought it was going to be, but as I reflect, there are problems with this series that are probably going to make me give it a 9. Last up is a super surprise that I got this so early. Kaiju number 8 volume one i got this two weeks early man this series is so dope the artwork i think is absolutely fantastic the comedy is so well placed the world honestly the first chapter is like perfect it's just so good the the pacing of it like how they introduce what's going on and also progressing with the characters into what we have look at that art by the way i mean that is just so so cool and then I think it goes into a, a second page here. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that sick? I mean, just that alone is super, super cool. But yeah, this series is really, really cool. It's about these two guys who are like basically waste management picker uppers. And so after the people kill the Kaiji, it's their job to pick up all like the remains and stuff. And there's this defense force that's in charge of killing the Kaiji. And those two guys want to be in the defense force. So it's their journey to become these like police officers or whatever. So it's really, really cool. And I enjoy it. I cannot wait for volume two. And that is it for my manga reading log for the month of November. I hope you enjoyed my quick synopsis of, of everything. You know, this is kind of a meh month. I read some good stuff, but I did read a lot of eh stuff. So hopefully next month's a little bit better. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, tap the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you know when more of my videos come out. I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.